What's up everyone? Welcome to Get Hands Dirty. I'm Chris and I'm here with my friend Joe today. What up crew? And today we're gonna make a 3D Connect 4. This time I had my friend Joe on the studio and we decided to make a wooden version of the game he had on his backpack using the X card from Inventables. Joe makes lots of CNC and 3D printed projects and also has a channel so make sure to check him out and subscribe. I'll have the link to his channel at the end. Also if you're not subscribed to the Ganon Story channel go ahead and hit that button. Last month I was a bit quiet and that's because I've been out for vacation and also preparing lots of new big projects for the next months and I'm sure you'll be interested. I also want to mention that I've got the links to all the materials and bits in the description as well as the design template and easel project in case you want to make your own version of this game. So let's get started. If you don't have an X-Carve or any other CNC carving machine, you can still make the entire project using a router, different types of drilling bits and a driller, and a table saw or even a handsaw. Just bring your creativity out and work with the tools you have or maybe you can find a makerspace with some machinery in your region. Just don't let the lack of tools prevent you from making things. I also started with pretty basic and little amount of tools, but still I did make lots of things and eventually the workspace becomes more and more completed as you keep making and investing in your work and passion. They're like those Chinese uh, uh, things that you spin, you know, in Tibet. They slide on pretty nice. Yeah. I like it. <gasps> no. You... Something fell. No. Jumped. Really? I guess it's. I guess it's enough. Sure. No scratching. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No scratching? What do you mean no scratching? The back of the magnet. Oh, well, it's too late now. I'm just going to do like two drops. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's better than mine. Oh, see if you can still. Let me see if I can push it. Oh, that glue's dried. Not really doing it. No. Ooh, that was good. It's like surgery. <laughs>
Orange, doge, treasure. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Is it? Oh God. <laughs> That's pretty strong. You might need handles. You've been living here too long. Okay. Oh, look at this. Watch this. <laughs> we could actually plane it. Well, yeah, I was thinking that's what you meant with like a drill bit. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, well, you can take actual hand planes. Try it. <laughs> it's so strong. <laughs> oh my God. It's like gonna take your finger work. off. Imagine a little child is like, oh, mommy, I want to put the board together. <laughs> Okay. Killing two rabbits in one trap. I like that. Which same, is just gonna be you cut, cutting off my wristband thing. Look at that squeeze out. When I saw people doing this kind of stuff, I thought it was a joke. How do you want to do it? With the... Do you think you can do it with the Japanese saw? Yes. You don't trust my line? Mm. What, it was my line straight? No. Oh, it wasn't? No. I did such a nice job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe. We don't really need the clamps, that's why we put the CA. Ooh, look at that. So here's the final piece and we think it did turn out very nice with all the wood colors from the bamboo, mahogany and walnut and all the little shapes. These magnets were definitely overkill but we were just lazy to get out and buy smaller ones so yeah, just don't use such big magnets. Mm. Thank you so much everyone for watching this was super fun project and it was great having you joe here thank you so much for bringing me all the way to porto <laughs>